Hello, everybody. Welcome back. This is Tinker77, and today I've got something special for you. I'm in the nether of my Patreon world, the survival multiplayer world. This is a backup copy, though, because I'm going to show you how to do a reset of the nether. If you uh, are like me, you want to reset the nether for the coming 1.16 update, and I'm going to show you how. What you'll want to do first is to find where Minecraft saves your files. So you'll want to run the file explorer. Now, there are two ways to get here. One way is to run the icon, which brings up the file explorer window, just like that. The other way that I like to do is I press the Windows key and the E key at the same time. It brings up a file explorer. It's pretty easy. Okay, now up here, and so you can see there is this address bar here. What you want to go into here is go into there and to percent app data percent. This is a hidden folder where Minecraft stores all your data. So you can see it there, a bunch of lists of things in here, and we're going to go over to Minecraft, okay? And then from Minecraft, you go into the saves folder. This will have all of your worlds. Now, this is the world we're gonna work with right now. It's called Patreon World. I'm gonna go into here, and you can see there's a bunch of different things in here, but what we're looking for to reset the nether is this dim-1. This is dimension minus one. Minus one is the nether. The one is the end, okay? So if you look in here, there's data, POI, and region files. But since we're going to completely erase the nether, you will want to go on to the dim minus one. Again, that's dim minus one and just press delete. Okay, and that's it. It is gone. Okay, so now if I close this out and I start up Minecraft and here's the new nether. And you can see the old ugly tunnels that we have are gone. And also, there isn't any type of nether fortress here. And if we fly around for a little bit, um, they'll probably see some of the new biomes. There's some right over here. So that was an easy way to reset the nether. But what about uh, the end? If you have an end island here, that's like we do, it's all lit up, and we've reconfigured it for what we like, and you might have an ender ender on your world, uh, you want to preserve those, but you want to get rid of the rest of the stuff so the end cities respawn, maybe a chance to get more shulkers. So how do you reset the end? Well, let me go back out to the desktop and I will show you. The idea is to keep everything that's inside of this red border. That way you keep your the island there with the end dragon is, anything in the void where you would have some sort of ender ender or any other things. And of course, the portals that you teleport to from the center island would still be there in case you have some sort of uh, platform or whatever you have built. But outside of this red box, you want those things to be reset, okay? So these are region files. And if you look here, I've got a list of region files, minus three, minus three, minus three, minus two, et cetera, minus two, minus three. These are the files that you need to keep to keep these here, okay, and I'll put this down in the description so you can see that, okay? So what you would need to do is you go into your uh, Explorer here again. I showed you how to do that earlier. This time you go into Dimension 1, and there we go. You go into the Region folder, okay, and you can see these files have an R dot and two numbers. Those numbers correspond to these. So like 00, zero you can see that's right here. We need to keep that, okay? So for instance, this is 0 minus 4. Well, there isn't a minus four in the whole thing. So this file here would be deleted. So you'd have to delete all of those files except the files that correspond to R and these numbers.mca. If you do that and then go in, the end will be regenerated when you go to whatever uh, chunks they have to get reloaded. So that is pretty easy as well. Now, if you don't need to have to preserve this whole thing, you wanna blow it away, you can do what I told you about the nether, which was to get rid of the entire dim one. Dim minus one here, dash one, is the nether. This is the end. Now I know what you're thinking. Tinker, this is gonna be very difficult. I wish there was an easier way. Well, there is an easier way because I've created a little utility that will do all of this for you. So let me show you. Back on the desktop, you can see that we have the Patreon world. This is the save that we're working with. And inside of here we have still have all of the nether, and the end has 291 region files. And we want to basically reset it so that only the region files are within this red square are there, okay? And so I've created a utility to work on this quickly. So if you run this utility, and I'll put a link down in the description for this, you can see it has a world selection. It defaults to your saves folder, 
And so you would pick the world that you want from the drop down. I only have one right now, so the only one is showing up. You tell what you want to do. I want to reset the nether, which erases it completely. If you click reset end, it will erase it completely, but you can preserve the end dragon island, which is all of the uh, regions that are inside of this red square, okay? And then there's also a backup world option. And what that will do is create a backup before it does any of these options, okay? So when I hit go, it starts to back up the world. That takes the longest. It only should only take a couple seconds, depending on the size of your world. And there it says now reset complete. It is all done, and now you can just close out the application. If we look in the Patreon world folder where all the work was done, you can see that the dim minus one or dash one is the nether is gone. And if we go into the regions here, you can see there's only 33 items, maybe up to 36 items, depending on what regions have been generated. So it has been pruned down to just the stuff inside of this red square. Let's go back over into Minecraft. We're back in 1.16 release candidate one. I'm going to back to single player and you can see now the regular world and also the world backup. So let's go into the world because it's made for uh, or will be used in 116. You say, I know what I'm doing. And here we are again. And you can see none of the ugly tunnels that we had from our Patreon world exist. So this, guys, this works really well. It's very quick if you use the utility. It'll do all the work for you. I hope you find this utility and tutorial useful. If you do, please click the like button. If you have any comments, put them down in the comment section. And in fact, if you notify the videos that I produce, please subscribe to this channel. And don't forget to hit the little bell icon so you get all the notifications, okay? Thanks, guys. Have a great day. Bye-bye.